Crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you're joining us for another Inspiration Friday. This week, we are going to be making these cute reusable sandwich bags. So stay tuned for a step-by-step -step tutorial. If you're new to my channel, thanks so much for stopping by and make sure you click on the subscribe button down below and click on the notify button and YouTube will alert you each time I have a new video uploaded. So let's jump right into making these cute reusable sandwich bags. So they're fun and easy to make. Um, it just takes very little material and then of course um, some nice lining that you want to add to it. So here are a few examples of the ones that um, Michaelin has already made and they are just absolutely darling. Um, good for you know the kids lunch bags or you know a trip in the car or you run into the beach anything to take the place of using um, the disposable um, plastic um, sandwich bags so let's get started on what you need to make these cute sandwich bags so we're going to start out with a um, piece of cotton material for the outside layer um, and i um, find the quilters cotton to be really nice you can use or organic cotton and i've got a little bit more information on types of material on the blog post so you might want to check it out and then we're going to make this one with nylon. Now I've also got some extensive information on PLU, um, which is another type of um, lining that you can use. And it is also a food safe grade. So um, do your research, see what you guys want to use for the lining. But for today, we're going to be using quilters cotton and some nylon. Of course, you're going to need um, a pair of scissors um, for the project. Um, I definitely recommend using clips um, for this project and not pins um, and so we're going to be using those of course you're going to need some thread um, a sewing machine um, or a serger i'm actually going to be using both today so i'll show you how i use those a little bit differently and then a darning needle if you're going to be using your serger and i'll show you how we're going to use that so to start out with on this project what i'm starting out with is i'm starting out with two pieces of uh, material already cut out. So I have cut these to be um, seven inches by 18. So they are both the exact same size. Okay, so we're just gonna, you just wanna cut those out. Now, a lot of people um, have been asking about the little quarter folds that you see like at Walmart or Joann's. Um, and those are great because you can actually get two sandwich bags or the cover of two sandwich bags out, um, out of those and they got some great patterns so that might be an idea for you guys to think about but the first step that we're gonna do here is we are gonna work on um, finishing off our edges so the very first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna put our fabrics with the wrong sides together okay so this is my good side of my fabric I'm gonna put it face down and then I'm going to put my um, lining in now the nylon really doesn't have a right side and a wrong side. The PLU fabric definitely does. And the shiny side is the, the good side. So we're going to put wrong sides together. And right now, all I'm going to do is just because this nylon is really slippery. So I'm just going to put a couple clips um, going down the sides. We're not going to be sewing the sides right yet. Um, but I just want to keep the sides in place. So I like to put a couple clips down. What we are going to be doing is we are going to be rolling up the edge. Now we've got two layers of our fabric, right? So I'm going to roll up that edge and then I'm going to roll it another time. And it is just a very skinny hem. Um, a very narrow hem might be a better way to put it. And then I'm going to put clips in place um, because we just want to, these edges are going to be showing. And so you want to do that for both the um, front, excuse me, the top and the bottom. So I'm just gonna flip it around and I'm gonna do the exact same thing here. I'm gonna fold it once and then I'm going to fold it again. So that way we've got a clean finish um, for our bags. And you'll see at the end how that is going to show. In fact, I can show you on our samples that I have right next to me. So like in this example, this is gonna be one of the ends, and then the other one is gonna be this one inside. 
So we want to have a really nice finish to that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pop over to my sewing machine and I am going to do a straight stitch right down the, um, the edge of this. And I'm going to make sure that I'm catching so it's got a good seal. I'm going to start my stitch, back stitch, I'm going to end my stitch, and I'm going to back stitch. And I'm going to do that on both sides. So give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I did that top stitch and I want you guys to see it. I'm hoping you can see it. The light's not the best, um, but I've got just a nice finished edge. And now I also recommend using a coordinating thread. Now I've got a really pretty pink thread that I used as mine. So the next step we're going to do is we are going to assemble our bag. And so what you want to do is you want to turn it over so your lining is facing down. Okay. And I like to use my Cricut mat here because it gives me a good measurement. What we want to do, we're going to make this pocket right here or the part we're going to flip over. And so what we're going to do is we're going to fold this down two inches. So again, I like to use my Cricut mat here so I can really measure it. So just make sure that you've got a good two inches. I've got to play with it just a little bit because I don't want more than two inches. And I don't want any less than two inches. So just play with it a little bit there. And there we go. We got two inches. So then I'm going to put my clip right there. And I'm going to measure the other side because we want them to be even. And I'm going to put my clip right there. Okay. So this might seem backwards to you, but again, we've got the lining on the bottom and we turned it over to flip it right here. Okay. Now, the next step you're going to do is you're going to take the bottom part and you're going to meet at the top. Okay, so we're just kind of covering everything up and this is what's going to encase it and be able to flip it over. So then I'm going to remove that clip and now I've got all that section clipped together. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing here and then I'm just going to go ahead and make sure my clips now have both parts of my fabric. So I've got everything nice and secure right here. Now I'm going to take this over to my serger and I'm going to serge down each side. If you don't have a serger, what you would do is you would go down um, and do a straight stitch, quarter inch straight stitch, and then you would zigzag to finish off your edge. But I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of my serger and so I'm going to serge right down and then I'll meet you right back and I'll show you how to tie off your serger threads and then we're going to flip this around and we're going to have a complete project. Okay, so I'm back from my serger and you can see I've got a nice finish. Um, it's just really clean and that's what I love so much about using my serger. But if you guys don't have a serger, that is not a problem. So there are lots of different ways to tie off your serger threads. The way that I find the easiest, and this is why I've got my darning needle, is I will take the darning needle and I will feed it right through the threads, the, the, um, the threads that went over, and then I am just going to pull this straight through. Now, a lot of people will tie off um, serger threads or there is actually glue that you can use also. Um, but I just find this method of pulling it back through um, works really well. And so I'm just going to do that on all of the corners here. And then I can just clip off the rest of that thread and I'm not cutting anything and it's got a nice nice finish there to it. So I'm just going to quickly do all of these and then we're going to flip our bag around and you guys we have done this quick and easy project and you guys can make a whole bunch of these. I love this um, camper pattern because I am making these to put out in our camper so that when we're out and about in the camper I don't have to have plastic bags um, if we want to make a sandwich to take to the beach or, you know, whatever we, we might be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this so you guys don't have to sit and watch me thread this through. And I'll be right back. OK, 
Okay, we've got that all done. We've got our corners all done. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it inside out. Now I like to make sure my corners are poked very well through. You're going to flip it. And then you're gonna take that side that we did and you're gonna flip it over. And then just poke your corners really well. And there you guys have it. We have completed our sandwich bag. So how cute is that? You're going to make your sandwich. You're going to plop it in there, or you're going to put some snacks in for the kids. And you're going to put that over. And we have just taken the place of using our plastic bags. Helping the environment a little bit at a time. Thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. I hope you like this project making reusable sandwich bags and this step-by-step -step video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also check out more videos and more detail on this project over at my blog at funstuffcrafts.com. If you have any questions, please make sure you leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you.